today um, I've been shopping. It's well, hang on, what is it? It's Friday, Friday the seventh of June, I think. Um, and I had to go shopping to get some stuff for Amy's birthday, and I had to pick up some bits for Mark's birthday as well because Mark's birthday is the eleventh, and Amy's is the seventeenth. So. And I had some Father's Day stuff to get as well. Um, but while I was out, I picked up a couple of bits for myself. Hardly anything. Um, and I also got something from Avon that came yesterday. I think I was given that. So I went into Boots for some stuff. And um, I actually found a Sinful Colour Stand. That's the first one that I found in a Boots that I've been in recently. And I picked up two colours that I was going to get online. I got um, Pistache. I think it's pronounced Pistache. You can't really tell on the phone. Um, but it's this like pea green colour but I just thought it was really pretty um, although I'm still absolutely loving this this blue is not coming off for a while but yeah I've got pistache because I haven't got many greens and it's kind of a mixture between a bright green and a mint but it's, I would call that pea green and it's really pretty so I got that one and then I got this one which is called Boom Boom and um, it's like a really bright it's not fluorescent but it is, um, it's not neon either, it's just like a bright pink, but it's really pretty. So they were £1.99 each. Um, I also managed to go to Lush because we went to a shopping centre called Hampton, which is in Peterborough, but Lush is in the other shopping centre in Peterborough, which is Queensgate. So we drove to Queensgate just to go to Lush because Mark's really sweet, bless him. Um, so I got three samples because I'm interested in trying their shampoos um, and conditioners and she was sort of telling me a little bit about them and I wanted one that was good for colour and she said there was only really two that she could recommend for colour. I'm just going to see if I can find them in here because she said all the shampoos are listed in here and I can't really read her right. A sample of Veganese, little tiny pots but it's okay, Veganese which is for um, shiny and slippery hair, um, slippery, shiny and soft hair. Um, perfect for when you want shiny lemon scented softened tresses, slippery seaweed gel, moisturizers and nourishes hair making it easy to comb and style when it's dry. So she said this one is very good for shiny hair, which is cool I suppose. Oh it's very lemony, that looks like that. It's very runny and very lemony. So she's given me that one because she said a lot of the other ones have got a lot of citric acid in them so they'll like strip the colour out a bit. Then she gave me, what else has she given me? Cynthia, Cynthia Sylvia Stout. Oh yes, this is the beer shampoo. I thought this was quite cool. Um, so where is, Cynthia Sylvia Stout. An old trick to get soft and shiny and voluminous hair in a trice is to rinse your tresses in beer. Why not taking, we're not taking a pint of Stella, we mean locally sourced vegan stout with added yeast for protein. So yeah. Oh, you can smell the beer in it. It's kind of lemony, but it is kind of beer-like as well. So I can't really, because it will pour everywhere, but it's like brown and very, their shampoos are very liquidy, aren't they? But that, you can, you can tell that that's beer. That's awesome. <laughs> And then she um, she gave me a conditioner, I believe. Blousy. Oh no, hang on. One of these has got to be a conditioner because she said she gave me two two shampoos. Sorry. Veganese that I showed you first is a conditioner. That's it. And then she gave me the Cynthia Sylvia Stout and she gave me Blousy. And she said Blousy is the best one for me. Um... This helps to repair damaged hair because it's so nourishing thanks to all the bananas. You get a great wash and cleanse without stripping your colour. Coupled with a special Gorilla perfume made from rose, blackcurrant, juniper berry, thyme and rosemary. Blousy is sure to win you over. Ooh. Now I'd have thought this was conditioner because this is really thick. She said it was thick because of all the banana. Now that's weird. It doesn't smell like banana at all. I, she said there was so much banana in it, I expected it to be really banana -y, and I don't like banana, but this smells really nice. So this is blousy. 
and it actually smells quite nice. You can you can smell the rose. There's a lot of rose in that. But um, I'm going to give these a little try anyway. Because obviously now that I've got the red, I have to be careful what I use in my hair. Um, and I have got that hair mask, but I haven't got any shampoo. The only shampoo I've got is the... Is it the L'Oreal one? The, the super light one. So I got those and then I got two products. I was really good. I literally bought two things and I only took five minutes in there. So I bought another comforter because I love the comforter. Oh, the comforter is my favourite, I think. Now this is a bubble bar and these are more expensive. These are £4 something. Um, £4.25 for a comforter. But when I last used my first comforter I broke it into three pieces but I'm going to break this one into six because one third of this created so many bubbles and I just thought I'm going to break it into six it just smells so good it just smells like blackcurrant it smells like the um the shower jelly I can't remember the name of it the one that smells like Ribena it smells like that so I got that one and then I got one that I haven't tried before and it's amazing. This one was £3.15 and it's a bath bomb. I think £3.15 is quite expensive for a bath bomb, but I'm going to break it into pieces. Oh, this one's called Honeybee. It's... Oh! <laughs> oh, I just snorted some. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, how do people do coke? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this what it looks like it's yellow and brown i think the brown is supposed to be like porridgey it's quite rough um but yeah and it smells so good it smells just like honey i washed the kids soap which is like honey and it smells like honey and toffee not too much honey because i don't like the smell of honey it smells like toffee and caramel and oh it just smells so good so that was literally all I bought from Lush today, and I got a new Lush Times, Vivian Westwood on the cover. Um, and then I went to, I've been to Tesco three times today, two different Tescos, um, and I got, all I got for myself, oh I got some nail polish remover, which I don't think you really need to see that. I got this top because I thought it was quite pretty, and they had it in like a mint green, which was so nice, but they didn't have my size, so I had to get the white one. And it's, it's quite sheer, so I'll wear something underneath it. But it's got like this Aztec pattern on, can you see? And I just thought it was really pretty. And it's quite long and floaty. I really needed another long floaty top, didn't I? But I just thought it was pretty. Um, yeah, and that was, how much were you? Eight pound. So yeah. And then the other thing that I got, which I got from Avon, might not be keeping these. I've got some workout trainers. Now I've got, I think I've spoken about this before, I've got this problem with my foot, with my right foot. It's to do with pressure. No, your dress is over there, babe. It's in mummy's bag over there. They're mummy's shoes. Um, yeah, I've got, it's to do with pressure on your foot and I can't wear flat shoes anymore. Um, I struggle to wear heels. I can wear wedges but that's about it um so i've been wearing workout flip-flops because avon sell those but i got some from tesco and because they're a bit raised and they've got a chunky sole they're easy to wear for my foot and they help give my foot some support so i saw these and i thought i would try some because all the workout trainers i've seen have mainly been made by sketches and they've been like 40 pound plus i did find some in the factory shop that were 28 pound but they only had like sizes three, four, and five, and I'm a seven. So I found these in Avon, and they were 20 quid, so I thought, well, I'll give them a go. I haven't tried them yet, but they're very pretty. They're like pink and grey. And then this is the sole. Now, I expected it to be really super cut in, but it's not. But because they're workout trainers, um, they're supposed to like work your calves and everything, but they have a thicker sole. So I'm hoping that these are going to help with my foot but I do need to try them I need to try them at home because um, obviously um, I don't want to get the bottoms dirty in case I'm not keeping them but I thought for 20 quid if they're going to help me then I'll have them 
I was gutted because like in the winter I like to wear them slouchy boots. I can't wear them because they've got no proper sole on them. I can't wear flip flops. I had some brand new like flat sandals that I bought last year. They weren't brand new, I wore them a little bit last year. Can't wear them because they're too flat. And it's gutting that I had all these pairs of shoes that I can't wear anymore, so I've just had to get rid of them all. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna try them and see how I get on. But if I can't get on with them, then I'll just have to go back. Um, what else? I realised yesterday in my little mini vlog that I showed you Elvis, which is the cat. And um, I afterwards, I after I'd uploaded it, I thought they ain't got a clue who Elvis is because I took some footage of Elvis to go in the previous day's vlog and I never got to put it in so you won't know who Elvis is basically Elvis is um, a stray cat that I've seen in my garden about three times in a week and um, I keep looking outside in case he comes in um, I hadn't ever thought about taking him in and then the other day I was bringing the washing in and he was just sort of trying to come in the house so I was like okay I let him in um, see I, my mum takes strays in so I kind of got it from her um, and he just sort of took to us he kind of adopted us and he's been coming to us for about four days now getting food and sitting in the house and that I don't know if he belongs to someone I think he's been abandoned I think that um, he lived with someone around here and they've either moved away or they've dumped him or um, perhaps if it was an older couple they might have died or so. I don't honestly know but um He's been living here anyway, he's kind of been adopted, but I have to put him out at night because I don't have a cat flap. And today I haven't seen him, so I don't know if he's just kind of moved on or what. I mean, I've got, I bought him some food. I I've only spent about four quid on cat food, so if he doesn't come back, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'll just give it to my mum. But he has been coming back every day, and then today I haven't seen him, so whether he'll come back tonight, I think because it's a nice day he's probably just wandered off somewhere and he'll come back later um but yeah that's that's who Elvis is and I have got some footage of the day he came in which I'm more than likely going to put in perhaps today but um yeah my little baby boy Elvis but I, I hope he comes back because I've kind of got attached to him now which sucks but never mind um so yeah that's, that's kind of it for today like I said I've um been shopping today and got stuff for Mark and Immy's birthdays. We bought Immy's iPad today. What is she doing? Got her iPad today. Um, and we've let her have it early because we're going to Liverpool next week. We thought it'd be nice for her to be able to take it in the car and stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it. I haven't really got anything else exciting to say. Nothing's really happening. Um... I still haven't hit 500. I don't really understand what's happening because I'm getting emails every day saying that one or two people have subscribed to me. But every time I check, I'm always on like 498 or 499. But so you're telling me that I'm getting one or two subscribers every day, but then I'm getting like three unsubscribe. It's, it's mental. Um... Oh, Shell's put on Facebook that she wants to get a tattoo of Zachary's name. I was meant to be drawing one up for her, but because we've both had a hell of a lot of stuff go on, I haven't had a chance to draw it up yet. So I am sorry, I am going to do it for you. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm on 499 now. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Oh, that's a sexy... Oh, I love the... Um, the caption for yesterday's vlog that's beautiful <laughs> i'm like Ugh. so yeah um that's it for today i think i don't think anything else exciting is happening i'm debating what to do with my hair i have spoken to a couple of people about this and i don't know what to do do you remember ages and ages ago when i did jess's hair and she was bright red well i'm thinking of doing that to me but i don't know if i'm gonna suit it or not because i'm really loving the color that i've gone i love the red with the black but i'm like seriously debating going like bright red on the top and having the black underneath but i don't know what to do I honestly don't know if it'll suit me. I don't know if I'm cool enough to be able to pull that off. So I think at the moment I'm going to be a scaredy cat and just stick to this. But I do really like this colour. It's better in the sun. 
I've just got like a line at the moment because I've put it up. But um, yeah, I want to talk to you more, but I have nothing to talk to you about. It's really boring today. So, yeah. What are you all got planned for this weekend then? I'm not doing anything because Mark's at work and Sunday I've got a pack ready for Liverpool Monday morning. So, I'm at work tomorrow morning. That's about it. That's my weekend. Woohoo! I hope it's nice weather next week because we're actually off and we're going away to Liverpool. I really hope it's nice weather, but it'll probably rain knowing our luck. Um, yeah, so that's it. I don't know what I'm going to do this afternoon. Probably just a bit of housework or I've got to wrap Immy's presents up and I've got to wrap Mark's presents up when Immy's got to bed and keep them hidden. I've bought him a cake that I've somehow got to get to Liverpool without him knowing. I'm, I might put it in the suitcase, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to do because it needs to be hidden because uh, my plan is to wake up early I normally wake up before him anyway but to wake up early Tuesday morning and kind of go downstairs and get everything set up get his presents out and get his cake out and stuff but I need to get the cake to Liverpool without him knowing so I'm hoping that if I pack the case he won't go in he shouldn't do he doesn't normally go in the case he just leaves me to pack it but we'll see I don't know but yeah so let's do the song because you haven't had a song yesterday. Um, I don't know what to sing today. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm in the mood to sing. Hello. You got some flowers. Yes, you have. You got a yellow flower. What? With the flower. No. It's a grass. Oh, is it grass? Grass. 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 What song shall I sing? I don't know what to sing. Need to be afraid. I will sing with you, my friend. Come on, come on. I want to sing and I want to shout. <laughs> Ready? Go. Keep going. around my house. There he is. Well, we think it's a he. That's been neutered, we're not too sure.
Show everybody your pretty face. Hello. He's very, very scared. Do you want to go outside? Look. Do you want to go out here? Look. Look. Do you want to go out there? Hmm? You don't have to. You can stay if you want. Come on. <laughs> I've no idea who this cat belongs to. But, um, he's been in my garden a couple of nights now, actually. And I think he's been abandoned. I think his owners have just left him or something. But, um, I've given him some chicken. I haven't got anything else to feed him now. He's had some water and some milk. But, um, what do I do with him? I'd quite happily keep him, but he's very, very scared of me. Oh, I know you're hungry, darling, but I haven't got any food for you. But, like, I fed him probably about half an hour, 40 minutes ago, and I've just looked outside Immy's bedroom window, and he was on the bench, just sitting there. And earlier, when we came home from Mum's, we came in the conservatory, and he was just looking in, and I opened the door, and he came straight in. So, I may now have an adopted pet, but I don't know. He's just investigating everything at the moment. But I don't know what to do. I mean, I could keep him in here and call the RSPCA and they could come and get him, but I don't think they will, if I'm honest, because the trouble with the RSPCA is they think that if the cat is being looked after, they won't come and get him. And I would keep him, but I haven't got any food for him. I don't have pets. I've got no cat food. It's half seven at night, so the shop just up the road is shut now. I just haven't got anything to feed him. I, I could keep him in tonight because I think it's going to storm. And I'd happily keep him in, but I've just got nothing to feed him at all. I mean, I don't have things like ham and that in my house because we don't eat it. So there was a little bit of chicken in the fridge, which I've given him. But I haven't got anything else to give him. And, like, my next-door neighbour doesn't have a cat, so I can't even go and borrow some food off her. I, just, I don't know what to do with him. I don't know whether to just put him back outside and... See, I'm too nice. I can't bear the thought of him being outside when there's going to be a storm if he's got nowhere to live. That really upsets me. I'd rather keep him in so that he's nice and warm. But I just... I don't know what to do with him. So at the moment, I have a makeshift pet, so you'll have to stay tuned tomorrow because it's still Tuesday. You'll have to stay tuned to see if we have a pet. If I keep him, I'm calling him Elvis. Oh, baby boy. Oh, hello. I know. I know, baby boy. Where are you going? Oh, baby boy. He was just rolling around on the floor. Come on. Come on, baby boy. Come on. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Come here. Come here. This is great, isn't it? I've possibly adopted a frigging cat. Five days before I go away to Liverpool for a week. Great time in Puss Puss.